subscribe or they will haunt you. What's something you wish you started doing earlier in life? Taking my health more seriously. Specifically quitting smoking and making it stick. I'm now 5 years nicotine free, but that's after 33 years of smoking. At least you were able to- That shit is hard, so great job. Best choice I ever made, for sure. Brushing my teeth no one made me, when I was too little to care, and by the time I wanted to do it for me the damage was done. But not too hard. I always brushed hard as heck, because that's what I was taught and that's what I thought I was supposed to do to get clean. I'm 23 now, and my gums aren't real bad, but there's some irreversible receding already. Now I brush holding the very end of the handle between my index and thumb tip. So there's no way I can brush too hard. Getting up when the alarm goes off instead of hitting snooze. Being myself more. I remember I constantly changing my personality, based on the friends I was hanging out with which made me very unhappy. But now that I started, being myself around people that actually like me has made much more accepting of myself. Not worrying about having lots of friends. In my younger years I tried to be friends with too many people at once. And didn't have any solid friendships. Having a few really close friends is far better than many wishy-washy friends. I lost a lot of friends when I got sober. Only occasionally miss that crazy shit. Being honest with the people around me and not lying to myself about who I am. Telling MFS no. It's funny. Someone else replied with saying yes more often. Maybe the commonality is expressing yourself without worrying about what others think. Getting up early and just doing what needs to be done in a day instead of putting it off forever. Update. I've been how I do this or how I got started. Honestly I got started by getting up early for work. Slowly it became my new norm to get up at 7am on my days off. The getting things done part was trickier. I guess I started by doing small things like cleaning or doing errands right away. Like if I was washing clothes. I wouldn't let them sit in the dryer. I would take them out right away and hang them up. Eventually it just became a routine and part of my life. Working out what I wanted to do with my life. I'm 40 and have no idea. 48 and I'm starting to think that I want to be an astronaut. Or a cowboy. A space cowboy. Thank you for the award. New internet friend. And FYI this was a Steve Miller reference. I'm embarrassed to admit I don't get all the others. Reading. It's like being able to steal years of people's life experiences in just a few days without having to go through any of the bullshit. Learn about finances. Loving myself. I should have been more selfish. I gave too much of my energy to unworthy people. I should have loved myself more. Wearing sunscreen every time I go out. Exercising. Cold avoided so much joint and back pain, asthma, and self-confidence issues. If I started years earlier, it's amazing how much basic stretching and yoga have significantly reduced my back issues. Workout. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. It's never too late to start working out. I've been working out 3 times a week since February 2017 and am in the best shape of my life now. At age 45, 25 year old me couldn't do a third of what I do now. Playing piano and guitar. Accepting myself and not tying who I'm to other people's perceptions. It took me so long to accept my brain and my neurology, much less be proud of it, like I'm now. It really screwed up my self esteem when I was little. And I didn't really get out of that until high school. I mean high school is a pretty apt time to lose your insecurity. Thinking sometimes you just have to stop for a while and think you will be seeing a lot more. Buying Apple stock in 2002 or Bitcoin in 2011. Taking my diet seriously. Not long before my 25th birthday I had high blood pressure, insulin resistance from PCOS apparently, popping joints, 
fatigue, permanent discoloration from obesity chubrub, sleep apnea. The past 3 months I've lost 15 out of the 150 I need to lose. So the road ahead is long. I just want to be hot and alive while I'm still in my 20s lmao. <laughs> Saying yes more often. Once I started doing it, I began realizing how much fun slash great stuff I had avoided because of prejudices or lack of goodwill. Have friends, spend time with people, social interactions. How do you start doing it? I can't connect with any person I meet. I didn't find friends, the friends found me. Still don't know why or how they did that, but they did, and now I'm way happier than before. So I guess generally having more social interactions can help. A lot of people found friends on Discord. Saving money. Still so angry at teenage me for buying all that crap, when I could have been building a nice pot up without even having to sacrifice too much disposable income, which was most of my income at that age. I'll job to find something better. I'm a person of habit and I stayed there, because it was stable, and I was afraid of losing that, if I tried to find another job. I dropped an application at another company with my years of experience listed right on the front. My phone blew up the next day. They wanted to hire me on the spot. Offered me double what I was currently making. I nearly had a heart attack. It's been almost a year now, and I couldn't be happier. Watching movies. I have always been a reader, and watched movies very rarely, but due to lockdown I was looking for some movie recommendations, and made a list of movies my favorite writers liked. Watched every movie by Felony and Chaplin and now it feels like falling in love. I have literally watched a movie a day last month. Investing. Put 10% of every paycheck into stocks, bonds, Roth IRA, ETC. I never did, and ended up getting a military retirement instead. I would have been so much better off if I had invested right out of high school and just kept doing it. Ignore my parents. Turns out narcissistic parents that raise you under a rock to believe they have the best intentions for you is a complete lie. If I had ignored them, I would have started saving up money at 14 years old, latest, and moved out at 18. Meditating. For me the one I could have started earlier is drinking enough water. I cut out soda in my first year of high school, but I didn't really replace it with anything. All throughout high school and up, until I actually graduated from undergrad, I would proudly say I'm like a cactus. I just don't need that much water. Well, I finally started drinking the proper amount of water just to try it. I felt amazing. My chronic headaches were basically gone. I had energy. My skin looked great. It's been maybe 3 years since then, and I've been drinking tons of water ever since. I can't believe how many terrible headaches I could have avoided by just drinking more water. My siblings roll their eyes at me, but they get chronic headaches too. So I always tell them to drink more water. They don't listen at all though. Only time will tell. So I hope they figure it out like I did. Have better discipline. Motivation comes and go, but good discipline will get you through those low points. I'm a terrible procrastinator, and just wish I had better discipline. Not giving a fuck. I gave too many fucks, now I have no more fuck to give. <laughs>